Hi guys, today we're going to take a break from our DJI Pocket 2 content and talk about mini tripods. Now what I have here is the Yulan Z MT-016 mini tripod. Now this mini tripod, if you can see over here, it has a very unique Koshu mount which allows you to mount mics and other accessories that you have. So let's take out the contents from this little box and see what we get and compare it with other mini tripods that I have. Now we are not going to do a top down shot as this is just a tripod itself and doesn't have a lot of other accessories with it. But let's see what we get inside. Okay, so what we have is actually this uh, Yulanzi stickers, which they have, warranty card, and the tripod itself. So now I've been eyeing for this little mini tripod for quite a while and I really like it for its size. Now if I put beside my hand here, you can get to see that it is, isn't that big. It measures about 22cm and can go up to 44cm or 17 inches. It also feels pretty light, weighing at about 170 grams. So once we open up, you can see that it goes quite well, a good length to be able to extend your selfie shots if you're using a camera for vlogging. And once we have it close up, you can see that there's a cold shoe mount over here which you can mount accessories like I've mentioned. And this little ball head which you can just move around to be able to compose your shots. Above all, you have this little uh, screw mount over here to be able to tighten whatever cameras that you have on. Okay, I, here I have my RX100. Of course, you can mount any action cameras or other cameras over here, but I'm just going to use this for comparison. So, let's put this on top and just screw it up. Now, this function might seem very simple, but not all tripods have. So, one of the tripods which I like but doesn't have is this Gorilla port over here. If you see closer, it only has this quick release plate. It is good, but if you were to switch around, it's going to be quite a hassle. I even have this um, Siri tripod this uh, Gizmos tripod and you can see from the head over here it also doesn't have any uh, functions to be able to quickly screw in any cameras so one more other feature which I mentioned at the start is that you're able to extend which is very good for vlogging and if you can compare it with the Manfrotto Mini Pixie Evo which I always talk on my channel which does have this top screw mount but you are unable to extend it for the selfie mode compared with this Yulanzi MT16 over here and let's try to mount up a little light over here what I have here is my ALM9 little light and yes this uh, Koshu uh, mount over here now, what is a cold shoe or hot shoe mount? Okay, if you have seen, there are cameras on the top which has this uh, hot shoe mount which able to connect accessories to it. If it allows connectivity, it is a hot shoe mount because it allows any hot connection, hot connection towards your cameras. If it doesn't have any functionality, it's considered a cold shoe mount. All right, let's adjust this and have a closer look. So you want to mount this on top of here. All right. Here you go, you have a very interesting little vlogging setup. Let's open up and set up the camera over here. And there you go, you have a very convenient setup over here. Now, although we have a cold shoe mount here, I wouldn't recommend putting it very heavy accessories onto it. As the tripod, as mentioned, it's light, so it might tilt over once you put it on top of a uh, little surface over here and it falls over, so you wouldn't want that. Uh, either ways, I also recommend having lighter cameras. Let me off this light first. I'll recommend lighter cameras such as uh, this RX100 or maybe the Canon uh, G7X. At most, uh, APS-C camera such as the A6400. But anything heavier than that, I will not recommend it. So why would you want to choose this over other mini tripods that are out there? First of all, it is very affordable coming at about 30 USD. Other tripods that you have out there, which include other accessories, will not come at this very cheap price. Here I have my Joby Gorilla Pod, which costs about 50 USD. I also here have my Manfrotto Mini Pixie, which costs also around 50 USD, as well as this little big mini tripod over here, which costs nearly about 100. One thing you can see, there's no cold shoe mount on any of these, so you'll definitely have to find an external attachment to be able to extend that function out. I do love all these three little mini tripods that I have, but this one really comes in very good, and I'll definitely recommend this for lighter builds. There's also another brand which I really like, which is called Small Rig. You can go over and have a look at their mini tripods, and because they are quite a close competitor for Yulan Z. Now, one more thing that I have to emphasize is how well this thing is built. If you look up close, they have both these little teeth over here, and these rubber grippings over here which really helps if you have sweaty palms such as myself. 
you will definitely close very well and you're able to use it for vlogging compared with other little mini tripods or other selfie pods that are out there which does not have this function both my Manfrotto mini here and this uh, little vlogging Joby Gorilla pod does have this rubber gripping but it does not secure it as a whole unit by itself so I hope you guys like this brief review on this Yulanzi MT-016 if you do, give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below and hit the bell notification over here so that you'll be updated with my latest upload. So in my next video, I'll be covering this Yulanzi quick release plate which is really interesting if you have action cameras. It has this very strong magnetic grip which allows you to mount GoPros, action cameras or even point and shoots and lighter cameras that are out there so you want to stick around. If not, I'll see you guys in the next video.